ladies, what's up? Today's flow is a very juicy flow to begin to strengthen the core, giving us those six pack abs. You know, if that's what you're looking for, you might get that chiseled look. Um, really today is about bringing the awareness into the core to really help to find that control. So if you like to do the flying, where you hop up into forward fold, hop back into plank or whatever it is, this will be a beautiful practice for you to do to really strengthen the core, finding that awareness there. I always think that the awareness and the control is more important than getting those like superficial six pack abs, really working into those deep abdominals. And you know, everybody's favorite thing to do is core. It's so fun. <laughs> so we're gonna hop into something comfy, roll out our mat, start to connect to our breath, and let's get started. So coming to our comfortable seated position on our mats, beginning to settle in, soften the gaze or close the eyes, relaxing the jaw, relax the space between the eyebrows. And beginning to bring the breath into the practice. And on your next exhale, really begin to bring the awareness down into the core as you begin to knit your lower rib cage in towards each other. So you really want to feel like, like you're, without doing it, without actually having a corset, you're corseting your ribs in towards each other. So inhale, see if you can slam the rib cage out. Exhale, draw it in. So we're just bringing that awareness into the core, keeping that awareness there throughout this practice, keeping the breath, super important. With each exhale, feeling the sit bones rooting down into the mat, feeling the shoulders relax. Inhale, seeing if we can grow ourselves a little bit taller. One thing that yoga does, yoga will make you taller. If you want to be taller, do yoga. <laughs> I'm going to take two more breaths here. And on your next exhale, begin to extend the arms out to a T. Draw the shoulders in towards each other, spread the fingers wide. And we're going to run a little belly dancing here as. I like to call it. I always get weird looks when I introduce this in the classes. So if you're staring at your computer screen like this girl is psycho, you wouldn't be the first. So really centralizing the movement from the belly. Really imagine that you're Shakira. We're going to begin to draw circles. So bringing the torso around. It doesn't matter what direction we're going, just going one direction. Just doing this to begin to kind of warm up the core, bringing the awareness there. You can go as fast as you want. You can make this movement slow. You might already be feeling it, or it may take you a little bit to feel it. I'm going to do two more. Then you're going to reverse it, go the opposite direction. Two more here. And relax the arms. We're going to draw the knees in towards our chest, taking them out to the side, coming into our tabletop position. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Bring the head in line with the spine so we're not allowing the head to droop here. Making it long. Draw the belly button up towards the spine. And your next exhale, we're gonna take our right foot, sending it back behind us as we let it hover over the mat. Making sure we're squaring the hips forward with the mat. So that just means drawing the toes, right toes down. Keep drawing the belly up here. Take one more breath. On your next exhale, we're going to draw the knee in towards the nose as we round the spine. Inhale, send it out. Exhale, draw it in. We're going to do three more on our own breath. Two 
Inhale as we send it out. We're going to hold here. On your next exhale, really press the weight into your right hand, top of your left foot, extending the left hand forward, keeping the gaze up. Exhale, knee and elbow draw in towards each other. Inhale, extend it out. So really keeping that awareness into the core, making this like our crunches that we would do on the floor. Two more. Maybe feeling the arm burning a little bit. Inhale, extend out. Exhale, release it down. From here, we're going to tuck our toe. Really draw the belly button up towards the spine. On your next exhale, press into the toes. Begin to lift the knees off of the mat as they hover. Take three breaths here. Exhale. Woohoo! Release it down. Left foot extends back as we let it hover. Draw the belly button up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend it out. And two. Last one. Inhale, reach that left leg out. Exhale, right hand reaches forward. Find your stability. Exhale, elbow and knee draw in. Inhale, extend it out. Exhale in three more. Inhale, extend it out. Exhale, release it back down to your tabletop, tugging the toes once more. Lifting the knees off of the mat, bringing the awareness into the spine, the core. Exhale, release the knees. We're going to flow through three rounds of our cat cow. Connecting our breath and movement. Last one. Inhale's gonna bring us back to neutral tabletop. Exhale, we're gonna stand it up and back, downward facing dog. Take three breaths here. Draw the belly button up towards the spine. We need to find any movement. To begin to work into the hammies, into the hips. Begin to walk your dog. On your next inhale, we're going to roll up our spine, sending ourselves into our plank pose. So shoulders over wrists. We're going to take four breaths here. Cultivate the strength. Pressing into the hands. Draw the lower belly up towards the spine. And then your next exhale, release the knees. We're going to lower down to our forearms. So option here, bringing the elbows in line with the, in, with the shoulders. And then we're going to bring wrists in line with the elbows. Hands planted down to the mat. Or we can bring the hands at prayer, still keeping the elbows in line with the shoulders. And then from here, we're going to tuck our toes, lifting ourselves up into our forearm plank. So finding that long line of energy in the body. Take two more breaths here. Exhale, release the knees. We're going to take the hips back towards the heels. Relax the hands back towards your feet. Coming into a child's pose. Two breaths. Exhale, roll it back up. Plant the hands coming into tabletop. And your next exhale, send the hips up and back down. We're facing dog. Take one breath. Now on your next inhale, we're going to take that right leg, extending it back behind us to three-legged dog. We're going to hold here for one breath. Activate the core. Press evenly into the hands on your next exhale. We're going to draw the right knee in towards the nose. Shift forward like you're coming into plank. Inhale, send the leg back out. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, back out. Do three more on our own breath. Exhale, 
last one. Inhale, send it back out to that three-legged dog. Exhale, releasing the foot down, downward facing dog. One breath. We got this. Inhale, left leg extends back, three-legged dog. One breath here. And your next exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. Inhale, send it out. Exhale, draw it in. Three more. Two. Last one. Inhale, extending that leg out. Exhale, releasing the foot. Release the knee. Come to sit back on the heels. Relax the hands coming into our hero pose. Take one more breath, connecting back to that breath. Give the belly a little rub. Send it some love. Give yourself a smile. And then we're going to send it back down. <clears throat> Coming back up to our downward facing dog on our exhale. Inhale, right leg extends back behind this three-legged dog. On our next exhale, we're going to send the right knee towards the right tricep. And then you're going to switch it, take it over to the left tricep. Switch it back over to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Really bring this motion in from the core. Two more. Inhale back to downward three-legged dog. Exhale. Whew. Release the foot. One breath. Inhale, left leg extends back behind us on our exhale. Left knee towards left tricep. Send it over to the right. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. Continuing here. Bring the motion from the core. Two more. Maybe sweating it. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, release the foot. Inhale here. Exhale, walking the feet forward. We come into our forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway to our neutral spine. Exhale, release it down. Bend the knees. Take two breaths. And your next exhale, begin to bend the knees. We're going to sink the hips down to the mat, coming all the way down to seated. Getting our way there, whether we flop, whether we gracefully come down, drawing the knees in towards the chest, taking the hands or wrapping the arms around the legs. We're going to reach the heart forward here. We're going to take two breaths. And from here, we're going to slide the hands behind the thighs. Reach the heart forward, and then option here, you just begin to lift one foot off the mat. Release that one, switch it to the other side. Or, we begin to lift both feet as we come into our half boat. Keeping the hands to the backs of the thighs here, take three breaths. Drawing the heart forward, lower ribcage draws in towards each other. Exhale, release the feet back down. One breath. We're drawing the shoulders back as the heart reaches forward. This time together, we're actually going to begin to lift one foot. And on each exhale, when we switch the feet, we're going to see if we can begin to, in mid-air, switch the feet. So it's going to look like this. Exhale, send it back. If you need to watch the video, you can watch the video. So we're coming into that half bow. On your next exhale, release your left foot down. Exhale, switch the feet in midair, tapping the right toes down. And then just continuing the motion. Two more on each side. Maybe on the lower abdominals. Activating, draw back up into your half bow. Exhale, release the feet. We're going to do one more. So we're going to, this time, 
We're going to draw, bring a little bit of more challenge into it, and you don't have to do it. So wherever we are in our practice today, allowing ourselves to be there. So we can keep the hands to the backs of the thighs as we lift back up into our half bow. And if we want to add a bit of a challenge, keeping the heart lifted, we extend the hands towards the feet. We're going to take three breaths. Shake it a little bit. One more breath. On your next exhale, extend the legs out, lowering down to your back. Keeping the head and chest, feet are lifted, coming into a low boat. One more breath. Exhale, draw the knees in towards the chest, releasing the head and chest down. Rocking from side to side here. And bringing ourselves to stillness. We're going to release the left foot down to the mat. Bring the right knee up into about a 90 degree angle as you draw the toes back towards your face. Left hand, we're going to slide it underneath the head as the elbow falls open. And the right hand can just come to rest down at our side. And your next exhale, we're going to lift the head and chest, drawing the left elbow towards our right knee. Inhale, lowers us down. Exhale as we lift up. So continuing on our breath, really bring the motion in from the core, making sure we're not crunching in the neck. Last one. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, switch your legs. Right hand comes behind the head. Left hand's going to rest down at our side. On your next exhale, we lift the right elbow up towards the left knee. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, and lift. Eight more. We got this. Working towards that strong core. Two more. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, draw the right foot in line with the left knees at that 90 degree angle. Both hands coming behind the head, resting the elbows open. Keeping the gaze up towards the ceiling, draw the lower rib cage in towards each other. The low back is flush to the mat. On your next exhale, we lift the head and chest. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift as we find those crunches. Continue on your breath. Inhale as we lower down. Exhale, straighten the legs as much as you can up above you. Take the hands to the backs of the thighs. Take two breaths. Give the back of the thighs a good rub. Show yourself some love. And keeping the hands down at our side, keeping the legs extended up above us, low back is still on the mat. On your exhale, begin to lift the low back just a, a tiny bit off of the mat. Inhale and lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. So very small movement. So we're not trying to do a reverse crunch where we're kicking ourselves up. Just a little baby movement as we begin to work into the deeper abdominals. Two more. Keeping the legs extended on your next exhale. We're going to take right leg down to the mat. Keep the left leg extended. So right foot's going to stay hovering over the mat. Take two breaths. On your next exhale, take your fingertips, reaching them over towards the left. Holding here. Then we're going to switch the legs, come back in through center. On your exhale, take the hands over towards the right, keeping them open wide. Left foot is still hovered, right leg as straight as you can get it. 
On your next exhale, keep the legs as they are. Release the head and chest down. Exhale. Woohoo! Release the knees and towards the chest. We're going to take the soles of the feet down to the mat, extending the fingertips towards the heels, drawing the shoulders underneath the back. On your next exhale, begin to press into your heels, lifting the hips off from the mat, coming into our bridge pose, keeping the knees in line with the hips, gazing up towards the ceiling, a little release for the belly. Exhale, lowering down one vertebra at a time. We're going to take our right leg, drawing it down the mat. Left knee is going to come in towards our chest. Sit in the fingertips back behind us once more. We're going to draw our left knee to about a 90 degree angle, activating both feet. This time, begin to lift the right foot off the mat, let it hover. And on your next exhale, right elbow is going to lift up in towards your left knee. Inhale through the center, switch your legs. Exhale, taking that left elbow towards the right. So we're finding out little bicycle crunches. Continuing on our breath. Keep the gaze up towards the ceiling. So we're not crunching in the neck. Try to keep those elbows as wide as you can. I'm going to do two more on each side. Release the head and chest. Right leg releases down, extend your left leg out, right knee in towards your chest. Then we're going to extend the legs up above us. We're just going to do a few more. Hands are resting down at our side. And your next inhale, begin to lower the feet down as we let them hover. Exhale, sending them back up. Inhale, lower them down. Exhale, come back up. Inhale, send it down. Exhale, send the legs back up. Two more. Last one. Draw the knees in towards the chest. Wrap the arms around the legs. Give yourself a big hug. On your next exhale, lift the nose up towards the knees, throwing up into a little ball. I always weirdly imagine myself as a little armadillo when I do this. Inhale, release the head and chest back down, soles of the feet to the earth. Knees falling open, soles of the feet together. Take two breaths in our Supta Baddha Konasana, allowing gravity to take over. Last bit of core here, so slide the fingertips back underneath the head, open the elbows wide. On your next exhale, head and chest lift, we're keeping the legs as they are. Inhale lower, exhale lift, inhale lower, so coming into our bound angle, our butterfly crunches.
and know that you're doing something so beautiful. I mean, even if something as little as strengthening the core and helping your posture, even if it's something as simple as that. So I hope you enjoyed this video.